Here in this problem, a plate is subjected to non concurrent coplanar forces as shown in this diagram, and we have to find a single resultant of all these forces. As a first step, we should find equivalent force coupled system acting at point D of the plate, but there is no need to do that again because in module 7.2, we already found the force coupled system like this wherein the resultant force R is of 1562 Newton magnitude. It is making an angle of 50.2 degrees with the minus x axis and the resultant couple is of moment 300 Newton meter in clockwise direction. Now, the second step is to move the force R until its moment about point D is equal to m d that is 300 Newton meter. A question arises which side of point D should we move the force to right or to left? Can we move the force to the right of this point D? Well, the answer is no you cannot. If you move the force to right it will look like this and its moment about point D would be in anti clockwise direction and the moment of this couple is in clockwise direction which is just the opposite. Hence, we have to necessarily move the force R to the left of point D as shown here by distance x prime. So, that when the line of action of the force is this, the moment of this force R about point D is in clockwise direction and its magnitude is equal to m D that is 300 Newton meter and then we can eliminate the couple. Since the moment of this force about point D is equal to m D, we have x prime equal to m D upon R y. This is equal to 300 Newton meter and R y is 1200 Newton. So, this will work out to 0.25 meter or we could say it is 250 mm. So, the force R has to be moved by a distance of 250 millimeter to the left of point D. Therefore, the distance x which is measured from the point C to the right x is equal to 500 which is the distance CD 500 mm minus x prime which is equal to 500 minus 250 equal to 250 mm. And since the force makes an angle of 50.2 degrees with minus x axis, the distance y would be equal to x 10 50.2 degrees and this will work out to 250 mm times 1.2 would equal 300 mm. So, the single resultant is of 1562 Newton making an angle of 50.2 degrees with minus x axis and the intercept of the line of action of the force R with the edges is 250 mm to the right of corner C and another point is 300 mm above the corner point C. So, 
This is our answer. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.